It is Wake Angel 2001 bringing you another custom figure. This one's a commission for Scourge 1985 on DeviantArt. He wanted a shard, the metal figure. Uh, and this time, I actually had a complete metal Sonic to work with. Well, mostly complete. He'd given his left arm to another commissioner a long time ago whose character had a cybernetic left arm. But, uh, you know, Shard has a asymmetrical left arm anyway, so this works out. Did you notice that this figure doesn't have the insides of the ears painted? It seems so weird that they would miss that. Uh, it's not very often you see a figure with such a blatant missing paint app like that. Oh well. So, um, I just had to sculpt on Shard's new spines. Remember, he has a similar pattern to Neo Metal Sonic. And a paint scheme reminiscent of Metal Sonic Mark III from, um, the Sonic, uh, Sonic Rivals 2. Yes, that was the game. Uh, the body needed a little bit of modification too. You just fill in that jet intake and put on the little crystal. Um, you know, the crystal which contains his soul, as it were. Um, Scourge 1985 wanted his shard to be in battle mode, as opposed to mine, original one, which is in regular mode. So the crystal and his eyes are red. You know, the you know, in the in the comic book when he's just conversing with friends and stuff, the crystal is green and his eyes are green. But then when he gets ready to fight, it turns red. Kind of like he has a mood gem sticking out of his chest. <laughs> Modifications to the right arm would be to beef up the armor around it, although the wrist joint still moves, I did not clog that. And the left arm is a heavily modded silver arm, uh, basically with the Mega Man style buster cannon and a shoulder pad added. Painted up, they look like arms. Not exactly symmetrical, but then again this character just isn't all that symmetrical either. Here you see the legs without feet. I pulled them off so that it will be easier to sculpt the shin armor. Uh, remember, the first time I made this guy using a Gashapon Metal Sonic for his feet, so this time, having the actual feet just feels so much better because I didn't have to sculpt them up to make them look bigger. And, um, you know, you know the leg armor. It's a little bit beefier and it has that triangular-shaped knee pad. Uh, so let's see what Shard the Metal looks like completed. Have I mentioned how much I hope that they will still use Shard post-reboot? I mean... This character was so great, and I'm really hoping that he's that he's one of the ones that they'll still be allowed to use. Um, he even had a... I, I think I can even come up with a little angle, like like he was starting to develop feelings towards Nicole. and But then in the post-reboot world, Nicole will still have memories of him, but he won't have the memories of her. So maybe this time the roles will be reversed and she'll be the ones with feelings towards him. Uh, and I really hope that this isn't the last we see of Shard. And yeah, here's a comparison between the first shard I made and this one. I think the I think he looks really awesome. The, the, whatever feelings I have, this character design just looks cool. All right, coming up next will be a Mega Man figure. I know you guys will want to see that one. This is Wake Angel 2001 signing off.